Hello, today we are going to see how to use uh, Mola Plus livestock microbes uh, to make silage. We are going to use a chaff cutter. Then uh, we are going to chop sweet potato vines and uh, napier. As you can see, these are the chops that we've, we've made, part of the chops that we've made. Uh, we, are, we are doing both sweet potato vines, wilted, that's where you see they're almost black, and then uh, the napier. So we chop and then we mix them. The ratio that we're using here is 50 50 50 but you can use any depending on what you have more and we are going to use a plastic drum as our silo um so we are going to mix one liter of molar plus livestock microbes um into two liters of molasses uh this is the molar plus livestock microbes we, we are going to yeah that that is the product that we are going to use uh in two two liters of two liters of molasses into 20 liters of fresh water um now this mixture is what we use to make silage and when we use it it makes our silage ready in three days three days and the silage that we make so after we will sprinkle on our chopped fodder chopped and wilted using a watering can or anything that or an upsack spray if you have one but that one that has no chemicals in it eh? so we sprinkle on a layer of like um every 15 centimeters and then we have to mix and make sure each at least chopped fodder is gets some feel of the microbes eh? so what the guy is doing here is he's mixing um once uh, we mix as we sprinkle so we ensure that at least all, all of it has gotten some then we start putting it in a um uh plastic drum and every time every time we achieve about 15 centimeters we compact and as we are compacting we keep adding and then when we see there are no enough microbes we sprinkle all on and then we make sure we've compress the purpose of compressing is to expel any excess air and why we keep doing this is because we want to have a properly filled drum but with the uh, minimal air spaces inside uh, then uh, the reason as to, i love these plastic drums and why i love them is because they can keep our silage very well for a very long time actually if you'd use our microbes here uh, this silage can stay good for a long time, we, for as long as even 10 years. So you see that the drum is uh, uh, properly full uh, and, and we have to make sure it's properly compacted. Eh? Where we, many farmers lose it is when they compact and then the compaction is not, is not properly done. Eh? Uh, also, you see these drums have a black cover and then... Uh, they have these rub, they have these metallic rings that hold the plastic drum, the top and the that's the cover and then the bottom together. You see the process of making silage as fermentation goes on, the w w some of the byproducts are excess energy and then um, mo uh, water or mo moisture, and now these cause a build up. So the 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 molasses make the walls of the silo expand. So if you don't have a tight grip, uh, that, that process might, you might end up getting uh, the lid going off or the cover going off and then oxygen comes in and then your silage gets spoiled. Huh? Um, through this process, our silage will be ready in a record three days. Now, the resultant feed that you make here is more nutritious and more palatable to the cow. Thank you.